EA Sports is proud to bring you coverage of PGA Tour Golf. Today from 17 mile drive on the Monterey Peninsula and historic Pebble Beach Golf Links. Rich Lerner joined up in the booth by Frank Navalo. Frank, there's nothing like it early tea time to get the adrenaline flowing. And also too, you know, the golf course is perfect. You know, less divots. Um, you don't see any sort of marks on the green. Greens are going to putt beautifully. There's also, you know, there's a, the course is a little bit softer. It's got the moisture from overnight. Um, this, and also, you know, the, when they've cut the golf course, there's a really green first smell. It's brand new. We head out to the course as we pick up the action on the tee at the par 4 fourth. Just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. And that's all set up by the big tee shot. You put yourself in that good of a position on the fairway just short of the green, and good things are bound to happen. in the red figures as well, moving to one under par. We arrive now at the 189-yard par three called the New Fifth, despite being redesigned by Jack Nicklaus late last century. Safest play here is to the left center of the green. Solid shot, and sometimes solid throughout the round will win the day. After a brilliant tee shot, this for birdie. Well, this game's simple to hit him in that play. It's a wonderful tee shot, and that is finished off for an easy birdie. Well, now Pebble Beach begins to really open up with some of the most famous holes in the world. We'll begin with a 498-yard par 5 sixth. Pacific Ocean on the right, and a row of bunkers on the left. Treacherous is a word that comes to mind. shot on this par five and it really opens up the hole. Now a big spot here for something good. This is short second to the par five. Softly. Oh, yeah. How do you take advantage of a par five? It's in for an eagle three. Superb. But well, this is the one you dreamed about, isn't it? Just a little baby wedge that kisses the clouds and drops softly on that tiny green here at the seventh. You and your maker. There's nothing better in the world than to be playing the seventh hole and playing it well here at Pebble Beach. Here we go. And this is going to end up safely on the putting surface. Coming off the eagle, this for birdie. 
Yeah, good job there to cash that in. A brilliant tee shot to this par three. And it winds up in no stress, too. We head now to the 416-yard eighth hole, one of the premier par fours in golf. Fairway wood or long iron off the tee, giving way to a long approach over the cliffs and a yawning chasm below. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. Aggressive off the tee, ball lucky not to run out of fairway and into the ocean, but now sitting in an ideal spot with access to the green. Look inside that 15 feet circle. Anything inside that was going to be a good shot. So in my book, that's a good shot. Yeah, can't take those for granted. Good concentration there. And it's new for a birdie. Frank, as you know, depending on the time of year, you can see gray whales out on Carmel Bay, sea otters feeding on abalone, sea lions sunbathing on the rocks, or you, you could see none of it because this night call absolutely demands your full attention. Look, it's a different sort of mammal trying to play this hole. Um, that first bunker on the left side, it, that shouldn't be in play, but uh, this hole tilts so much from left to right, I, I think it sort of funnels you towards the sea otters and the whales. This one starting a little left off the tee. Nice long tee shot. Fairway does get narrow down there. A little unlucky to get into the first cut. Well, just off the fairway, here's Noda. Looking at 153 to the hole. Pin about medium depth, though it is on the left side. Touch long, a touch left. But still, how good can you putt? About 17 feet on this putt. Enjoying this little stroll along Carmel Bay, and the golf is as good as the view. This 10th hole is 444 yards. I would tell you that it is the widest fairway at Pebble Beach. It is, but it doesn't feel that way because of the way it slopes left to right. And if you're not careful, this one can get away from you and head toward that Pacific. Really starting to make a hard game look easy. Drive after drive has been superb. And this one, well, as we like to say, is in the mayor's office. Couldn't ask for anything better. Split the fairway, and now we have a go at the second shot. Good shot again there. Well thought out. Landing the ball short. Let the ball run onto the green. And inside, oh, I'd call that a birdie putt. So that's birdie range. That's going to wander off to the right. Need maybe two, three feet coming back.
disappointment there. And then brush it in, and that'll be just a par. 17th hole here at Pebble Beach, all about history and all about beauty. Frank, what's the best way to make that three and get onto that 18th tee? Well, first of all, it depends where the flag is cut on the right side or the left side, because really this green is like a figure eight on a 45 degree angle. On the left side, it's a much longer carry, and you've got to really hit your tee shot properly to make the ball carry that bunker and stop in time. On the right side, you can see, you go with a shorter club and the target is big. You take those all day long. On the green, chance for birdie coming up. Now this for another birdie. Yard par five, Pacific Ocean, massive fairway bunker stretching more than a hundred yards on the left. Cypress trees, just a few of the things you need to contend with. Well within range from here, a second now to the par five. Well, that one didn't work out. It didn't look bad in the air. It hit the green, but didn't sit. Yeah, it was never going to stop. can do no wrong. Dialed in, and that is an eagle, and this is a... <laughs>